Wingy Boxing IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here with Scotty Card. What's going on, Scotty? How are you yes, feeling, brother? All good, mate. Yeah, feeling good to be fair. So, just ready for Saturday night. You know, just can't come quick enough. Ricky Burns. That one come out of the blue, did it? It sure did, mate. Yeah, I've probably known as long as you have. <laughs> uh, but no, it's been good to be fair. It's, uh, I'm just glad I get to fight. I've been training hard for this. It means to be fine, Cordina. Uh, obviously, with his injury, unfortunately, I had to be called off. So I'm just over the moon that Ricky stepped in and. Uh, we, we get to fight on Saturday night. So when you're looking at Ricky Burns, you're looking at obviously a former champion, yeah. a gritty, tough guy who you know is going to give it his all. What kind of preparation are you doing for that? Because you were training for Cordina, weren't you? So Yeah, totally different fighter, yeah. to be fair. Uh, obviously, the likes of Cordina's fast, fast feet, fast hands. Uh, it's not really Ricky's style, so... Um, to be fair, luckily for me, I feel like I can adapt to any style and uh, going into this fight with Ricky, I've just got to stay sensible and, and use my boxing knowledge going into this fight and uh, just be smart the whole way through it. Do you think Ricky is going to put it on you? You know, like sometimes he can box, but often he gets aggressive, doesn't he? He tries to mix it up. Do you think that's what you're going to get with Ricky or are you just waiting to see how it plays out? Is that I, th I think he'll wait for the first couple of rounds, but I think he will put, put it on me early. I think he'll put it on me early, to be fair. I think he knows what, what's on the line for him. I know what's on the line for me, so I think it's got the qualities to be a great fight. Uh, but with that being said, obviously my game is to stay smart and not get into the fight that I'm sure he'll, he'll want to be involved in. How's boxing been for you, Scotty Cardo? How's it been so far? It's been shite. <laughs> no, no, to be fair, I've, I've, I've had a hard co couple of years, I'd yeah. say. 12 to 18 months anyway, and, uh, and to be fair, I've took fights that I shouldn't have taken, and so things like that. Preparation-wise, it's not been perfect, but obviously, I feel, I feel in great shape for this one. Uh, no matter who the opponent is, I'm in good enough shape to go how many rounds you want to go, to be fair, so... Uh, I feel like I've got to show myself in a way because obviously like I said in the press conference I've underachieved in a way and uh, I, I feel like I've got so much more to give so I hope I, I, hope I show that on Saturday night. Can your question, in that Ritson fight when you come out like a bat out of hell was that the plan from all along or was that something that just clicked when, when you heard that first bell? See people that know my amateur style know that that's me yeah. but to be fair I, I seen a bit of a weakness with Ritson. I caught him early on and I thought, I've got to jump on yeah. this now. And obviously with, with the preparation that I had for that fight, I wasn't really fully prepared. So I thought, let's get him out early. And Ritson's a tough, tough boy. And he weathered the storm and he come back, recovered in the second and took me out to be very, did the job in the second round. So I think that shows what he's all about. But. Uh, to be fair, that, that has been my style to be like a bar of hell, but obviously I, I should have been a bit more, more composed about it, more smart, and I think that's when I came unstuck on the night. What did you think about his uh, loss to uh, Patera? What did you think about that? I feel like Patera just knew how to box on the night. I felt, I felt like he was very smart going into that fight. Uh, I felt like he was the better boxer, as simple as that. And, I really hope Lewis gets the rematch, to be fair. I think uh, if, it, if he works towards a, a good fight against uh, Patera next time, he can beat him, but he's got to use more than just his power. I think he was dependent on his power quite a lot for the last one, and uh, I think that showed, and that's where Patera exploited quite a bit. Uh, but let's hope he gets a rematch, to be fair. I am a big fan of Ritz, and he's, a, he's the fuck. The only man to ever stop me, so he must be all right, like. <laughs> and uh, you sick belly, main event. What's your thoughts on that uh, as a boxing fan? You've got to love that, innit? Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, I've, I've followed Bellew all my life, pretty much. I've, I grew up on the GB squad with Bellew, and uh, I've always been a big fan of him. Uh, you sick, I was obviously with, with the GB squad, I've travelled the world, and I've been in the same tournaments as uh, you sick as well, so I've known these boys for years, and. Like, I think anyone to say, um, I think one thing about Bellew is he's all about surprising us. I think he could do it on the night, and that's one thing about him. I would never write him off, because that's one one thing Tony's about. But Yusik's just a different human being, and uh, I think the smart money's on uh, Alexander, to be fair. But with that being said, I, with that being said, I, I wouldn't be surprised with a Bellew win. 
Well, you've got a big uh, fight coming up against Ricky Burns. Scotty, wish you the best of luck. And uh, thanks for speaking to Wingy Boxing IFL TV. I'm just trying to work out whether we're going to get this slickness. Well, you know when you lower the hands and the hands are low, or whether you're just going to go in there and scrap. Just wait, wait, wait and see. Yeah, wait Same and see. will tell. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you.